So this school in particular started when I decided to move like two doors down because Hobson was running the program out of here. After I moved, Hobson's like, hey Lainey, uh, moving the, the school to West Chase. For a long time, we subleased out of a, a very good martial arts academy here in town, but it wasn't home. Um, you know, it didn't, our classes revolved around our culture, but now we have a whole gym that revolves around our culture, which is very welcoming. It makes people feel comfortable right away, and it's a great social network. The friends that you make on our mats are gonna be friends for the rest of your life. When John Ortolani came on, I was able to grow the kids' class to two classes, split the kids up by age. You know, that helped out a lot. So the two classes, the five to eight, and then uh, nine and above. I think one of the most important lessons that Jiu Jitsu teaches is perseverance, and often that's taught through the belt ranking system. You're not getting a belt um, every few months, you're not getting a stripe every week. Uh, we think that's an important lesson in today's society. So we've when we first moved in, we had two giant mat spaces, which was great. Uh, we had plans on where we were going to put our heavy bags. Uh, that has changed because we had to expand mat space, which is phenomenal. We're growing at a faster rate than we anticipated. Um, I think we're going to far succeed our goal come the end of the year. Um, but we have our bag racks up, we've got new wall pads up, we've got a whole new mat space. Um, the weight room is almost finished. we got all our supplies for the weight room. That's going to be awesome. Uh, bringing the cage ship today, so we're going to be able to get our, our next training camp. We'll be It'll be awesome training in the cage for, for the first time here. Um, and we've also added uh, a capoeira program just started here. So that's going to be interesting. The guys are, are really into the martial art. Um, so I'm excited to see, see where that program goes. They've had a good group. I think the addition of having our Muay Thai classes here has made a huge impact on our fighters. Um, and on the way that, we, that Lane and I run our MMA sessions. Um, we never really had a structured striking program until now, so our MMA classes have been focused a lot on striking technique because we do jiu-jitsu every day in all our other classes, so we didn't really get our striking in. Now that we have structured Muay Thai classes, we're able to focus our MMA sessions more on the transitionary stuff. You know, striking to take down, getting up off the ground, clinch work against the wall, and things like that, instead of just striking technique, because we have Jill and Anson here from 10 Muay Thai that are are really honing in our, our actual striking techniques. We're able to blend things together more than MMA. Oh, I enhance your biomechanics. Basically, you're breathing, you're standing, you're running, walking, and throwing is the goal. Everything we do is function patterns, from function patterns. Uh, I am a certified human biomechanics specialist level one, so that's, that's the second highest. For uh, athletics, it enhances your biomechanics, so obviously if you, if you run or throw, it's the help. Uh, whether that's swinging a golf club or a bat or throwing a baseball or a football, everyday life, you, like you, if you have to walk or you know chase your kids around or if you have whatever you have, have to do from day to day, it should uh, help you move pain-free, athletically or domestically. <laughs> uh, what I did wrong, I did a lot of traditional training, like went from bodybuilding to Olympic lifting to powerlifting, and just hurt my back doing all that crap. So uh, once you get older and you start having like fascia restrictions from the way we live or say you do tra tra traditional weightlifting, then this can start helping uh, the fascial heat just re retention your body so you can move biomechanically efficiently. That's cool. This year we are above a 60% growth rate. I haven't calculated it for a little while, but in January 1st we started with 95 students. As of today we're at 174 students. Um, a lot of that is, I think, our developmental attitude. One, we bring people in here to develop them. It's not a sink or swim school where you go in and if you survive for long enough, you're ultimately gonna get good. We meet our students where they are and we try to develop them. Two, some gyms are either fighter gyms or family gyms. We bridge the gap between those two. We have students all the way from three years old to over 60 years old. Um, so this is a place where you walk into as a pro fighter and you look around and you say, wow, I can really get better here. They have everything that I need to be successful.